a screen and I'm gonna there I just touched them and we've got camera and that is the view out the back of the truck right now hi friends so I've been working on wiring in a backup camera I don't know if I told the story before I left town and I was at the shop to get the trailer hitch installed and I backed up and backed into a car that had pulled up and parked behind me so ever since then I've been kind of super paranoid about backing up and without a backup camera it's really difficult to see what's going on behind this truck so I purchased a you can tell this is a like a license plate backup camera but I was able to mount it right up here on one of my plastic cover-up panels and use uh, that that wire gland to bring the wire inside and then really easily I was able to drop down this pad so I brought the wire in right back here and was able to cover it with this pad and it runs all the way up front then it drops down along with the wires for the the fan the the roof vent fan and then it comes inside of the electrical cabinet here let me click on the light So then it drops in and runs down and I've just joined it into another cable that's coming from up front right here soldered in this trigger line here which turns the camera on then it tucks through that existing hole right there and then it comes through the bulkhead right here and then it runs along in the uh, kick panel well, which I've removed the kick panel. Let me walk around there and show you where I'm at right now. <laughs> Making use of that floor mat, I see. So down here, here's the wire right here. You can see it's a, you know, it's an RCA cable for the video, and then it's got this trigger line that turns the camera on. So it just came through the bulkhead there, um, running it along. And then it's going to tuck its way up behind the dash and come out right up here at the head unit. So I'm getting really close to this being wired in. The way I'm doing it is I'm going to use a switch on the dash and just flip the switch, which turns the camera on and will switch over the head unit to the reverse camera, both with the flick of that switch. That's the easiest way I figured out how to wire it. Um, the other way would have I had to pull out one of the tail lights and find the reverse light back there the reverse wire which is not a problem but then getting that wire up and running it all the way back up here now if I'm able to find a reverse trigger wire up here like from the shift column I'll use that as opposed to a switch but right now it looks like I'm gonna use the switch and I'm gonna jump that um, just to some power and then when I hit the switch it'll turn the camera on and switch over the head unit so uh, all I'm doing right now is just finishing running this wire up under the dashboard and to the head unit so I've got the head unit pulled back out of the dash and so this yellow cable that's just your standard RCA video input and then this orange wire that's the head unit trigger wire that's that's what gets a signal that tells the head unit to switch over to the backup camera input and then the red wire uh, that's where you pass that trigger from out back at the camera on up to the head unit so the way I wired this instead of tapping into my reverse lights you know I talked about putting a switch under the dash so instead of the reverse lights triggering 
the head unit and the camera, the switch is gonna trigger. So here's, I had this switch on hand. It's not the right type. This is a, uh, you can see here, it's a sprung switch. So it's just an, a quick interrupt switch where what I need is a constant switch. So when you, when you flick it, it stays on. But I had this one on hand, so I'm gonna wire it in. And then once I'm in town, I'll pick up uh, a constant switch and I'll just swap them out. Good morning, friends. Okay, so I started back on the, <clears throat> excuse me, on wiring the backup camera. So all I had to do was hook up this last connection here. And I talked yesterday about putting a switch here. I hit the switch and it turns the camera on. So I've got all the wiring in here and I'm ready to install the the switch right down here next to my horn switch. I'm gonna let me put it right here. So if I hit the switch, the camera will come on. So I'm gonna test it here. So if I touch if I touch these two wires together, I should get camera. So let's look at the stereo screen and I'm gonna there. I just touched them and we've got camera. And that is the view out the back of the truck right now. So I've got to do a little bit of aiming. Uh, I'm gonna, looks like it needs to point. Well, I don't know. If I can point it downward a little bit more so I can kind of see the top of the motorcycle, which isn't there right now, but um, I mean, I'm definitely, it's working. Okay. There we go. So now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cob in this um, one switch I have here. I'm gonna use the, put terminals on these wires so then I can just change it out to a different switch once I pick a, uh, a better one up that's better suited for this. So there we go. Super excited. I wired in right here this morning and heat shrinked. Uh, I like doing the heat shrink on all my connections. I soldered the connection and then heat shrinked it. So, okay, so I'm just gonna finish this up and once it's all back in the dash, I'll, I'll give you a final update. Lefty's hanging out with me here while I do the work. It's warm up here. It's a little chilly out this morning. It's cloudy. Okay, so here's the finished switch that I mounted. So I put a simple toggle switch and with the flip of this switch the head unit changes over to that rear view camera look so it's a it's working out really excellent this head unit has the features built into it to support a backup camera so it was a simple um, plug-in you saw when I talked about the wiring you just hook up the RCA cable and the trigger wire. Uh, so the trigger wire tells the head unit, hey, we're backing up. And then the video signal comes in through that yellow RCA cable. So really simple. So now I'll flip this switch back off and it switches back over to its normal display. Now this is an Android head unit. It runs a new version of Android. I love it. I do a lot of, don't tell anybody, but I do a lot of that while I'm driving. And I don't really watch the video, but I listen to what's going on. So I listen to a lot of podcasts. So this has my Google Play Music, obviously Google Maps, which I use for all my driving. Uh, it's got regular radio. I don't really listen to the radio. I can check my Gmail if I want to. It's a full Android unit uh, with a lot of car type features built into it. So let's do that one more time. We'll flip this switch. And the backup camera comes on. You can see the motorcycle there. So I have a really great um, view. This has helped me tremendously in being comfortable backing up. It's way, way better. Everybody has to have a backup camera.
Okay. Thank you.